Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to estimate cost of using OpenAI APIs. Especially we will see how to estimate the cost of embedding model like ADA2. And for that purpose we will use TikToken package of Python. For JavaScript we have this GPT-3 encoder but for now we are just going to use TikToken. So before starting with token let's uh, see what are tokens so consider this example in this example we have this paragraph and it's made up of words and uh, most of words are mapping to their respective tokens but there are some words which are made up of multiple tokens consider this word it's made up of three tokens individual so it's made made up of ind iv and uh, ISI really. So these are three tokens. Also, uh, further we can convert uh, tokens to their token IDs, which are just uh, numeric ID for token. Now we can use same thing in tick token library. What we can do is that uh, from pricing page of OpenAI, we can see that what is the cost of per thousand tokens and uh, we can also calculate number of tokens in our data or uh, text data or pdf then we can just multiply cost per token into number of token and that will give us the cost of uh, uh, embedding that uh, document so for example i will copy this or i will just copy this one and uh, I will import the token. If you had not installed, then you can just install PPND install token. And uh, then I can do encoding equals pick token dot encoding for model and uh, i will get encoding for text embedding ada 002 so this is the open AI embedding model which is used these days here, uh, this is the documentation which which carry details uh, for using this tick token library. So I will just from here we can see that uh, this model text embedding ADA2 uses CL uh, 100k base encoding. So we got the encoding. Now let's declare one variable named data, and I will paste whatever copied from there now we have data we have encoding so we can print encoding dot encode and here i can pass data it's already installed that's why maybe I will run it. So these are token IDs which uh, got printed, and this is the sentence, and this is token ID for uh, each token. Now, what we can do, we can just copy cost of cost per thousand model. So we can do model cost equals it's uh, per thousand so we can divide by thousand to get cost per token and then here i can just multiply our model cost and uh, this one we have list of tokens so i can just 
get length of this token length of this list to find out how many tokens we have and just run it but output will be in this format scientific notation which we don't want so let's convert into float value so for that we can use text formatting here and i want till seven decimal places so 0.7 there and run it again so this is the cost which we have to pay for encoding this piece of data or text now let's see how we can calculate same thing for some big pdf or text document so i will import from lang chain dot document loaders import pi pdf loader and to use this pi pdf loader make sure that lang chain and pi pdf is installed and then from langchain dot text splitter import the recursive text splitter if you are not sure what's text splitter so you can check out this documentation and uh, here it says that text splitter is uh, used to split uh, text into uh, big text into small chunks and so that uh, such that the uh, semantic meaning is maintained and we are using this uh, recursive text splitter so it uh, splits on this uh, so if there is some enter and tab and space so it uses this for by default to split a document now let's load the data so loader equals pi pdf loader and it will ask for file path so in our case it's u.pdf and then i can load data equals to loader dot load now let's uh, split data into chunks so i can do text splitter equals requires character text splitter here we can pass chunk size so chunk size let's keep 500 and uh, chunk overlap so how much overlap between those those so let's keep it uh, 30. Now chunks equal text splitter dot split document. Uh, right now I am loading file using by PDF loader that's why I'm using a split document but uh, if you are opening some text file directly using open then you can use this one create documents yes split documents and just pass data here and then print chunks and length of chunks i will comment it out and run it here is typo okay so it created 488 chunks of our pdf and these are small small documents which got created so our uh, for this document our data is in page content I'll go top. yeah so data is in page content yeah.
Now, I will get encoding. Model cost we need, and here. So let's call total token equals zero, and for young in young. So we will go each young and. Uh, we can do total token equals total token plus token in this particular channel. So we can do encoding dot encode and then in chunk we know our data is in page content so chunk dot page content let's print total number of token we have total token and run it it says Okay, yeah, so this will be list. We need to calculate length of this list. Okay, so we have 52,210 tokens. Now, all we need to do is just uncomment this one and here we need to multiply total tokens by model cost per token and run it. So for embedding of this document, we need to pay this much amount and it's in dollars. So that's how we can calculate cost of using open ai models one minor update is that for ada model cost is not 0 0.0001 it's 0 0.0004 per thousand tokens so we need to modify our code for that to summarize we can first load our text or data and then we can specify which model we want to use and get encoding for that model and uh, then we can encode using this encoding dot encode and uh, it will give list of tokens we can find list of uh, length of that token uh, length of list of that to tokens and uh, then we can recursively iterate through all chunks and uh, calculate total number of tokens and then we can multiply total, total number of tokens by model cost per token and that will be the cost of uh, that particular operation in case in our case uh, that will be the cost of embedding so yeah that, that's for this tutorial thanks for watching